Hello, my name is Francis Cummings and I'm Head of Junior Conservatoire Music at the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland. I'm absolutely delighted that you are interested in applying for a place at Junior Conservatoire and I can assure you that the RCS is really like nowhere else. And our Junior Conservatoire is one of the most inspiring and vibrant learning communities that I've ever come across. Based at Scotland's National Conservatoire, we have expert staff and world-class facilities. And at the Junior Conservatoire, we offer courses in three musical disciplines, jazz, classical and traditional music. The curriculum for each of these disciplines varies slightly, but they all have a similar structure. Bespoke one-to-one -one tuition on your principal study instrument and your subsidiary study instrument, if you have one. Performance classes, practical musicianship and theory, choir, or in the case of trad students, sang school, and ensemble activity. We have a whole variety of ensembles, ranging from two symphony orchestras, wind orchestra, concert band, brass groups, big band, soul band, trad bands, numerous small jazz ensembles and chamber music groups. All places at Junior Conservatoire are offered following an entrance edition and through our edition process we try really hard to get as balanced an overview as possible of each young musician that we meet. We're often asked about the level of the grade that you have to be to be offered a place at Junior Conservatoire but we specifically avoid stipulating minimum or optimum grades as they are not always the best indicator of the broader musical and personal qualities that we're looking for. We're looking for lots of different things, but primarily we will be assessing your musicianship, musical potential, the aptitude you have on your instrument, as well as try to engage the level and the passion and commitment that you have. We're also interested in your attainment and your progress. And so we would be taking into account things like how long you've been playing, how old you are, and the access that you may or may not have had to high quality instrumental teaching. At the moment, all of our editions are online and once your application is complete, we will be asking you to record your edition video and send it in to us. We will send you detailed instructions on how to do all of that and the specific audition requirements for each discipline are available on our website. But I'd just like to cover a few general points about auditions, which I hope will help you prepare as successful an audition as possible. Choosing your pieces is a really important part of your audition process, and it's something that you should do in consultation with your current teacher. Try to choose pieces that are contrasting in style, character and mood. Perhaps different genres or historical eras. Choose pieces that you know well and ones that you've worked on thoroughly with your teacher. And make sure that your pieces are within your current ability range. Don't try and impress us by playing something that's too hard or something that you haven't worked on with your teacher. Try to think of your audition as a performance. And I think the key to any successful performance lies in our mindset and in our preparation. Before you record your edition, I would really encourage you to play through your pieces at least twice with an audience. Of course, it isn't possible at the moment for us to hold concerts, but you can create a concert environment at home with your family. Make sure you are as familiar with your pieces as possible. Practice performing with a backing track if you have one, or you may be lucky enough to have someone who can play the piano for you. But even if you don't have these things, there are lots and lots of resources on YouTube that you can use to listen to your pieces and play along with them. Hello, my name is Lauren McCormick Foden and I am the Operations Manager at the Junior Conservatory Music. I would like to talk to you about some of the practical aspects of your audition process. We really want you to be as comfortable and as at ease as possible, so there is no need to dress up for your audition. However, there is a formality to all performances, so it's worth giving some thought to your presentation. Introduce yourself in the piece you're going to play, telling us the title of the piece and the name of the composer. Take your time to get into the right mindset and to give the very best performance that you can. We appreciate that it's not always easy to play or to sing to a camera, so try to imagine that you're performing in a concert with a live audience that you're communicating with, showing them how much you enjoy music making. And don't forget to smile. We don't mind how many attempts you make at your recording, 
However, we do ask that each component is recorded separately and that you perform these in one complete, unedited take. We fully understand that very few people have access to high quality recording equipment at home. And all we're asking is that you make the very best recording you can using the equipment that you have available to you. We will be able to assess your potential even if you're just recording using a mobile phone, laptop or tablet. If you are fortunate enough to have access to backing tracks for your pieces or even access to an accompanist who can play for you, then please feel free to use these. However, once again, we're very aware that not everyone will have those facilities, so please don't worry if you don't have them. We always like to take the opportunity to get to know you as much as we possibly can. So as well as recording your pieces, we will also ask you to submit a short interview. We will send some questions that we would like you to answer in advance, and you can record those in any way that you like. You may get someone else to ask you the questions, or you might want to talk just straight to the camera. The questions are meant to be a guide, so please don't be restricted by them. If there are other things about your musical journey that you'd like to tell us about, then we'd love to hear them. So please don't feel confined by the script. This is an opportunity to tell your story. After we've reviewed your audition video and recorded interview, we may invite you to a one-to-one -one live online interview with either the Head of Junior Conservatory, Francis Cummings, or our Associate Head, Matthew Chin. These interviews will be conducted on Zoom and they will be primarily for older young people who are intending to pursue a higher education pathway in music. Normally we wait until all the auditions are over because the number of offers that we're able to make depends on the number of people leaving. So it'll probably be around spring break time before we were in a position to make our offers. But it is worth saying that all of our communications will be sent at the same time, whether you have been successful or not. Everyone will hear at the same time. Finally, good luck. One of the most enjoyable aspects of my role is that I get to meet and to hear so many young people play. Give it your best shot. And remember, if for whatever reason we're unable to offer you a place this year, please do try again. I'm so looking forward to hearing you and hopefully meeting you in person in the not too distant future.